just woken up and I've got an email with my admissions decision and I'm terrified. Let's open anyway. Okay. Okay. We've got some video. I'm like holding my breath. I got in. I got in. I got in. I was fully. I fully prepared myself to be rejected. Yeah, I'm going to Minerva. In September of this year, I will be moving to San Francisco. What? <laughs> that is so much to explain. Okay, questions I'm sure you're wondering. What the hell is Minerva? Why are you moving to seven different countries? San Francisco, like what? When did you find out about this? What is it? Why are you not going to Bristol? What are you doing, Jade? And I shall answer these questions. <laughs> okay, so Minerva is a very new, radically different university experience. It's only been going for like five years. It was started by a CEO in America who wanted to revolutionize the higher education system and make kind of an intentional higher education purely based on the science of learning. So Minerva is a four year degree because it's based on the American system. The first year I am living in San Francisco, which is so exciting. And so the first year is like a foundation year where you kind of study everything again, like you don't have a specific major or minor. And what I love is that it's so focused on developing your ability to critically think. The next three years of the degree, I am going to be living in Seoul in South Korea, Hyderabad in India, London, hey London, I get to finally see my family again, um, Berlin, Buenos Aires and Taipei and then you go graduate back in San Francisco and I'll be traveling with the same year group, the same cohort. I'll be living with the same year group, but I'm gonna be a world traveler. I'm gonna have a four month semester in each of those countries, which is crazy. And yes, it is gonna be mad having to move around so much. When I found out about Minerva, gut feeling, I knew it was the right one for me. Like, I just knew I had to apply. I had four days before the official deadline to apply which is crazy, because if you've applied for university before, you know how stressful putting in an application is. So to do it all in four days was like, really Jade? <laughs> I just changed my camera battery, sorry. I had to do pretty much a whole day of online tests, like specific tests for Minerva. Um, they were like aptitude tests. There was a, a video test, which was crazy, like a creative thinking test, a logical test, like a maths test, loads of tests. I had to do the equivalent of a personal statement. And I love how, though Minerva is super academic as a program and is rigorous, um, they have such a focus on on other skills. I had to go into my school, get my teachers to put my academic grades on, my transcripts, like, it was a stressful four days. The reason I didn't tell you is because I did not think I had a chance. I did not think there was any chance, like, I rushed the application. But also because Minerva has one of the hardest admission rates in the world, I think. Last year, I think they had like 23,000 applicants and then like 200 got in. So I did not think I had a chance, um, but here we are. It just feels right, like it's just, oh, it's, I'm so excited. I could not have like designed a better university. Like the cohort is so international. Okay, now here is the weird kind of controversial thing about Minerva. There are, no lectures. What? Sorry, what? No lectures? Um, is this university, Jade? Are you actually getting a proper degree? Yes, I am. So they did a load of research into the science of learning and how inefficient lectures actually are as a form of learning and how most people kind of sit there passively and the information doesn't 
really go in. Most of my friends actually record their lectures and have to play it back to themselves and then take notes because they can't actually get any notes from the lecture. So with that in mind, they kind of redesigned the way that teaching occurs in Minerva education. All of my classes are gonna be online seminars with a professor. So it's kind of like, a, almost like a video call, but Minerva has a special platform called the Active Learning Forum. So classes are gonna be like 15 people um, from my cohort and then like a professor who is an expert in something from around the world. The idea is that you learn actively. So the entire seminar, you're engaged, you have to talk, you have to answer questions, you have to, you can like write if you don't understand something. So you're listening, but you're also engaging. And like the professor's not allowed to talk for more than four minutes at once. So it's, it's designed to be super interactive, which I love. Like it's really different, but then obviously, that's kind of controversial because that means there's no campus, there's no lecture halls, there's a big residence block, but the institution itself doesn't really have a lot of physical buildings. And the idea is that like the city is your campus. They're constantly trying to get you to engage with the city. There are a lot of things in this style of education that are gonna be weird and are gonna be a challenge, but I kind of, I kind of just like it. And then from second year, you pick your major. I might still well do biology or natural sciences and then minor in something like English Lit or French or business or something, I don't know, something else. But I also kind of don't know exactly what I want to do because I've always been quite an all round, all rounder kind of person. I've never had like one subject, which I've always been like, that is what I want to do. I just think this is perfect for me to properly figure out which one is best for me and I can I can carve my education and my degree a lot more towards my interests. The school year is completely different. It goes from September to April. And the idea is that you do a month or two months in the summer of a global internship somewhere. So the school help you get an internship in another country within a sector that you're interested in, which is awesome. And is so useful professionally for when you like get out of uni. Like it's just so exciting guys. I'm, I'm just, I'm so incredibly grateful, not only that I found it, but that I somehow got in. If you don't know much about me, um, I applied to Oxford in the UK. I was rejected and I was gutted because I always envisioned that that was my dream university. I then had my place at Bristol University, which I still adore Bristol as a city and I still love the university, but I have always known that my gut has not been in it. I've just not been passionate about it for, for some reason. Um, I also questioned doing biology, like straight biology, um, because I'm interested in quite a few other things as well. And I was expressing this all to a friend. I was getting really stressed. I was, I, was, I debated taking another gap year. Like I really didn't know what to do. She asked me to lay out everything I would want in a university. And I described like traveling. I described having more flexibility in my degree. I, I described, like having an international cohort and I basically was describing a lot of things that Minerva does. And like, if I went to Bristol, I couldn't even study abroad because the subject doesn't offer it. So it just wasn't for me, but this, I found it a few days later online and I just, it's just the one. So yeah, surprise. Guys, things are gonna get crazy, crazy different. Um, I'm gonna be vlogging my university journey in seven countries. Yeah. It's mad, it's literally bloody mad. Practicalities wise, I still get financial aid. It still, it works out about the same price as UK university, UK accommodation. So it's in dollars, but like it's pretty much the same. It's not as expensive as normal US universities because they don't have to pay for like giant campuses and on-site lecturers. So it's very different, but I think it's very me. I'm very excited, um, so I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. I still get a student loan from Minerva. They really want it to be as inclusive as possible and not, and finance not be like a barrier, which is cool, it's like needs-based. Do you know what's funny as well is this suits me so much more than Oxford ever would have, I think. And I felt like that rejection was the end of the world in many ways, even though I know that's stupid and even though I know it wasn't, um, it felt like that. But I'm so glad, I'm so glad I was rejected. <laughs> Let's go have an adventure. It's also one of these degrees you can't really explain in like one sentence. So um, I hope, I hope you understand. <laughs> oh, also you have to do community projects in the city as part of your degree to kind of try and improve the city. 
Love that. Like, I would do that anyway. I'm, I love community stuff. There's just such a focus on, like, global learning, global immersion, um, making a positive change, being, like, a positive leader, and I'm here for it. So, yeah. Oh. Right, I'm gonna just keep talking, so bye.